If you're an optical or illumination engineer who also works with CAD software, no doubt you've encountered bridging errors or had to make identical changes to the same file in multiple systems. Possibly you've even spent time importing and exporting files. Listen closely, we have some good news for you. When you use SOLIDWORKS and ZMAX 12 in conjunction, these types of issues are a thing of the past. Partlink, which is a breakthrough new feature in the IE edition of ZMAX 12, offers a solution that many users have requested. Partlink is a dynamic link between SOLIDWORKS and ZMAX that streams lines the workflow, increases productivity, and cuts time to innovation. Let's take a look at Partlink in action and see how it works. To use Partlink, SOLIDWORKS and ZMAX must be installed on the same machine simultaneously. This is a dynamic link between the two programs. Don't confuse it with the imported object, which uses STEP, SAT, or IGES files exchanged between the two programs. With Partlink, the two programs are open simultaneously, and both can have the same SOLIDWORKS part open. Let's start with a part in SOLIDWORKS. I have a part open here, and we can see a few of the dimensions that have been defined here, 11 millimeters and 8.5 millimeters. If I go into ZMAX and open up the same part, I'll be able to see an identical shape in ZMAX. I go into the Object Properties dialog to the Type tab and select the SOLIDWORKS part link object, select the same object that was open in SOLIDWORKS, and click OK. ZMAX loads in that same part, and I can see here the exact same shape that was in SOLIDWORKS. If I want to call out the dimensions to modify them in ZMAX, I would go to the Object Properties dialog to the new SOLIDWORKS Part Link tab. I can click on as many dimensions as I like. I'll expose two of them here. And now those dimensions are available to be modified in the NSC editor. If I change one of them, the dimension is dynamically changed in both ZMAX and SOLIDWORKS, and I can clearly see the effect of that change in the shaded model. If I want, I can also save this modified file. I go to Edit, Save Modified Part, and I have the option to save it to a new file name or to overwrite the file that I'm working with. I'll choose to overwrite the file. If I go back into SOLIDWORKS and reopen that same file, I can now see the part that was modified inside ZMAX. Here is the modified dimension. This has been a complete round trip, closed loop discussion of the SOLIDWORKS part link inside of ZMAX. As you've seen, we can dynamically link ZMAX and SOLIDWORKS to modify parts interactively. The parts can be saved in ZMAX, seen in SOLIDWORKS, and the two are dynamically seen in both. This is just another of the breakthrough features in ZMAX 12 IE.